Hi guys, here we have some examples to classify the following amines as primary, secondary or tertiary. So this will be helping you to identify any of the given examples as primary, secondary or tertiary. I will make you do that. Okay, we will see. So we will see the first one. First one is, this is, this is the compound. And where you have to look at? You have to look at nitrogen. How many hydrogen are associated with the, or bonded to, how many hydrogen are bonded to nitrogen here? Two. When two hydrogen atoms are bonded, and this is one R, only one R is here. Okay? And so, first is going to be what type of amine? That is a primary amine. It is a primary amine where substituent is only one. That is what? You know, substituent is only one. One substituent means primary amine. One R means primary amine. Clear, no? Now the second question. Look into nitrogen. How many substituents are here? Two we have. And here we have one more. In another way, if you look, how many hydrogen atoms are attached to nitrogen? No hydrogen atoms. And so, all the place, all hydrogen atoms are replaced by R or alkyl or aryl group. In that case, what kind of, a, kind of an amine is this? Tertiary amine. So, the second one is tertiary amine. Very simple, right? No need of any confusion. Just look into nitrogen and read it. Whether it is primary, secondary or tertiary. That's all. Now you see, this is the one. And this is the nitrogen here. We have the nitrogen here. And you know that two hydrogen atoms are bonded to nitrogen. And we have only one R here. Isn't it? So, in that case, if there are two hydrogen atoms, that means if there is only one substituent, how do you write it? This is again a primary amine. See, now you have to think, why I am asking you to count the number of hydrogen atoms as well as the R? Because by seeing some alkyl group, you might be confused, you might get confused whether it is a 1 or 2, like that. So, no confusion. You leave that part if you are confused. Look into how many number of hydrogen atoms are bonded to nitrogen. So you will get the answer. If two hydrogen atoms are bonded to nitrogen, then what is this particular compound? What kind of a compound is this? That is a primary amine, no doubt. So there is no confusion. So one substituent, two hydrogen atoms associated with nitrogen, bonded with nitrogen. In that case, that is going to be a primary amine, no doubt in that. Okay? And now this one. Here we have this nitrogen. And we have two R here, two R group and one hydrogen here. And in that case, that is going to be a secondary amine. Right? So we have clearly classified which is a primary amine, which is a secondary amine and which is a tertiary amine. Very simple, right? Nothing to do. Just look into nitrogen and see how many hydrogen atoms are there, how many substituents are there. Substituent means how many R, alkyl or aryl groups are attached to it. Either you can look to alkyl, number of alkyl groups or aryl groups attached to nitrogen or if it is confusing, you can just look into number of hydrogen atoms that are bonded to nitrogen. According to that, you can distinguish, you can clearly classify which is among the given example, which is primary amine, which is secondary amine and which is tertiary amine. That's simple.